For NAD test number seven, we saw my highest level to date, 67 micromolar. And I was able to achieve that by supplementing with 654 milligrams of niacin per day, or more specifically, nicotinic acid, NA. Nicotinic acid is converted by three enzymatic steps into NAD. So for this most recent test, NAD test number eight, I wanted to try something a little different, more specifically to see if the combination of niacin and tryptophan could further raise NAD. And that's because as shown here with the de novo NAD synthesis pathway, tryptophan is converted into NAD. So for the 16 day period, starting from Ju July 5th, the date of the last test to July 20th, the day before this test, average nicotinic acid intake was 862 milligrams per day and average tryptophan intake during that same 16 days was 688 milligrams per day. But note that I just started supplementing with tryptophan for the 10 day period before the test, one gram per day. And similarly, nicotinic acid during that 10 day period was in the same ballpark as for test number seven, 659 milligrams per day. And then I sent blood to Ginfinity for NAD analysis, discount link in the video's description if you wanna do that yourself. And as we can see, my NAD levels still remain relatively high at 59 micromolar, which is in the same ballpark as where it was for test number seven, 67 micromolar. But note that there was no additive effect for the combination of tryptophan and niacin, which raises the obvious question, should I then take tryptophan out because it clearly didn't push NAD levels even higher? So for the next test, I'm actually gonna try the opposite of that. And I'm gonna see if tryptophan on its own can increase NAD without niacin. And there are a few reasons for that. One is in previous experiments, we saw that I may not have an age-related block for vitamin B6 or for the conversion of quinolinic acid into NAD with the grapeseed powder experiment. So I still think it's possible that tryptophan on its own can increase NAD. And to test that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna double the dose to two grams per day, bringing my total tryptophan dose, including through diet, to three grams per day. And I'll, if I can't get that uh, increase with tryptophan on its own, I, I'll return to niacin, no problem, probably in the 600 milligram per day range again. I intend on retesting on 821, August 21st, doing a full blood panel on the same day. So stay tuned for that data in a future video. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, NAD quantification, green tea, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing with SciFox Health, and note that their panel is almost completely different from the at-home metabolomics, including ApoB, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.